<laughs> Hi guys. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is the binder where I store all my dolls in. So I have them all in one set. So <laughs> it's a very old binder thingy that I had. And um, I wanted to roam around because I needed to dye to make my dolls. And I needed the stencil, so. But let me show you the new dies that arrived. Oh, I like to put that one away because I have them here. The first one I like to show you is the one that you see in the thumbnail. Uh, and that's the, no, sorry, that's this one. The birthday add-on set. So the birthday add-on set uh, contains a present. Oh, I'm holding it upside down, sorry. <laughs> I put my sticker upside up, but it contains four balloons, strings. It contains a champagne glass, and it also contains new uh, hands for the dolls. I know it's a little bit glary, but you know why I do this. So hopefully they don't steal my design. Um, I'm going to make samples with all of these. Hi, Jody. Good morning. I'm going to show you samples with all of these, but since I just had them in, I I couldn't resist showing them to you. Um, and the second set that I got in, I will take it out of the packaging because I did something a little bit sneaky. <laughs> uh, I wanted this one to be in a plate design. And the reason why was because it contains a lot of tiny, fun, well, I think fun uh, details like gingerbread earrings where my finger is pointing. Those are the gingerbread earrings with separate gingerbread dolls that you can. So you can make it in two colors, but also a set of butterfly earrings with uh, separate butterflies and a separate middle piece. And as you see, uh, compared to my finger, how small they are. I was so afraid you guys would lose those tiny pieces. That's why I have put them on a plate design so you won't lose those tiny pieces. And if you can see, my name is embossed in the plate. <laughs> I thought it was a fun thing. And this is the head. Um, I have the pictures here. Wait a minute. This is the set that I'm showing you here. So this is what you can make with it. So um, the punch, hand punch um, in the set is also the stomp, the scissors with the heart center, uh, the earrings. Here you see the earrings on the dolls. And um, the hat is also inside with that same bow. So this is the head, this is the bow, and this is the middle piece for on top of the bow. But again, I will make samples. I will show you how cool they look. I think they are cool. Uh, even a glue bottle is inside and a little itty bitty stump. And of course, a die cutting machine. I couldn't resist, but I wonder where my other one was because I printed out two sheets and now I can't find the other one. Well, I also made this set, and this set fits on all the dolls. It only does not include a face and the body piece. So, if you want a separate face... Oh, what's happened here? Oh, I think um, they were too snug inside my binder, <laughs> and now they uh, all have creases. But, um, yeah... As you know, all my other dolls came with a face piece, but not a base die. And I got so many requests of you guys uh, if I could do a set with only the base parts. And that one is on its way to me. If all goes well, it will arrive next week. So what I did is I made a set with a base lady and a, a bare face. And a bare face for the uh, boys with a bare body part. So you don't have to buy Sana or Ben anymore to be able to um, make the bases for all the dolls. Um, and if you want a separate base with all kinds of noses, I in my shop I also sell this as a set. So with the two dies and the stencil so you can make your own faces. 
but why, oh, I want to say why is my chat not working, but you guys are a little bit quiet. That's no problem. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to come on to also show you that this is, these are two samples that I made with the dolls that I uh, created and designed. And I wanted to, them to have uh, like a frame. And so I posted these pictures of these frames on my Instagram. And then you guys told me, oh, we want the frames. Because the inside of the frame is one eighth of an inch smaller than an A2 size card. So if you crop an A2 size card with one eighth of an inch, it will fit perfectly inside these frames. And um, since the frames were a little bit too expensive for me to uh, produce and bring out and, and offer to you guys. Hi, Doreen. Hi. <laughs> thank you for joining. And thank you for saying hi. Uh, I asked uh, my manufacturer, who normally uh, produces my dyes, uh, if he would be so kind to produce these frames and put them in his AliExpress shop. And so he did. They are finished. I have them here. Um, but he still needs to add them to his shop. So as soon as I get the link from him to these frames, I will send or I will add the link in the description box below. And in the next video, I will also give you guys the link. But yeah, these frames uh, are soon to be uh, buyable, purchased. You can purchase them soon on AliExpress. <laughs> Oh, my English. Uh, well, so, um, yeah, I like to. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your orders. Uh, this morning, my sweet husband brought them all to the post office. I took uh, a picture of the bag. It was so full. So, yeah, these are all the dolls. And I will. Uh, which one am I going to use with the crafty add-on set? That's Jessica. I will put them together. I will show you samples, but I couldn't resist showing you the dice. I was all getting ready to make the samples, and then I had something like, oh, I, I just want to show them. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and this is Pixie. For the ones that didn't see Pixie, but uh, she is now also uh, in my Etsy shop. So if you want to prepare for Halloween, I think she is such a cute witch. And all the add-on sets that I make fit on all my dolls. So don't worry. I make them perfectly fit. And um, this set this set contains like a princess dress. I will put her together and I will show you how pretty she is. But as soon as I have her ready, I will... Um, show it to you guys so you see the potential i put pictures in my etsy shop so if you can't wait um look them up because i put pictures inside but if you want to, to wait for me to make the samples I, i'm fine with that i'm absolutely fine with that i couldn't resist letting you know that the frames are being made and will be sold on aliexpress uh, asap Ah, oh, you got your eyes. Thank you for your order, Amy. I can't wait. So please, if you make something with the dolls, please don't forget to tag me or let me know or send me pictures because I absolutely would love to see what you guys uh, create with the dolls. And I think it's fun to inspire each other too. I love them all. I can't stop making them. Ah, oh. <laughs> hi, Ineke. Hi. Yeah, Inika, sometimes I, you know what, sometimes it's, I want to do live streams more and videos more, but the problem sometimes I have is, what am I going to say? And, you know, sometimes I do like to go and craft um, during a live stream, but for some odd reason, it makes me nervous. I'm always afraid to bore people or to take too long to make things. And then, yeah, it gets on my nerves. I, I, it's it's me. It's totally me. But, yeah, that's the reason why I would love to do 
a crafting live stream, but yeah, it just makes me so nervous. Oh, I can't wait. So I will, I will go and play with my dice now. <laughs> I will not bore you with it because it gives me too much uh, nervousness. <laughs> Hi, Aya. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, I put them all in my shop yesterday, so uh, you would be able to purchase the three new add-on die sets now. So, um, yeah, again, thank you from my heart for all of you who purchased them. Um, and a little, well, spoken sneak peek, if I, I don't know, but a little spoiler. See, I was looking for the right word. I am going to make a very cool winter set. And one of the items that will be in the set is like a headphone with cat ears. Oh, I, I'm still drawing it, but it, it's going to look so cute. Trust me. <laughs> so there will be an add-on set. I, I'm not sure when I'm going to produce this. Because, yeah, let's be honest, I have to wait until I sell a few more dies until I'm able to afford uh, investing in the other dies. It is what it is. You know, I'm always straightforward with those kind of things. But, yeah, um, if uh, these three also sell well, I will be able to fund the other winter add-on set. And I made, and that one is already ready, but I made um, a set, and, and I'm debating if I, I'm going to spoil the surprise. But if the set is not too expensive, I'm going to do something very cool with it. But yeah, I, I will keep that for a later later surprise. It's, it contains um, Batman and Catwoman. Uh, I got that question and I loved creating them. I created that set, but I still have to ask a quote at the factory what they will cost me and if I'm able to invest in them. But um, yeah, if you have any ideas on what kind of add-on sets or things you would love to add to your doll collection, let me know uh, because I'm always open to suggestions. Do you think you will ever make a full doll add on legs, etc.? Well, Amy, I have to be honest. I don't think I'm able. And the reason why is if you look at the doll, this inside of this frame is A2. And then I had to start with my dolls, making my dolls smaller or I need to make a smaller version of these dolls. So I don't think I'm going to make them full body, uh, to be honest. But you never know. With me, you never know. <laughs> uh, at this moment, I would say no. But hey, there is always room for uh, new ideas. I, I love the fact that I only have them around the waistline because to me, but that's a personal thing, uh, the, the legs don't add to the joy of things that I can add to these half dolls. Uh, thank you for understanding, Amy. But you never know. Maybe I'm, I'm going to do that, maybe not. It, it all depends on... How, how well I sell the dies and, and if more people ask for full body dolls, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to craft. I'm going to see if I can make those dolls. Um, I don't know if people like to enjoy see me <laughs> struggle. <laughs> I will try to keep it to stay on on this live stream, but if it gets too on my nerves then maybe i will stop doing this live stream i don't know crafting on the live stream always makes me so nervous see because now i'm already looking what am i going to do first 
I think I'm going to do first this set, the Eileen set. But then I have to figure out what body parts I'm going to give her. Um, I love these so much. I make these with the stencils. Let me show you. I made these with the stencils. So I think I'm going to use this one. But the problem is, uh, I made these earlier and now there is like a, a, a dent in the paper. No, the camera doesn't pick that up. But in real life, there is a dent in my paper. So maybe I just need to make a new one because I have here, I have one that's dent free. Oh, but then I need to go and grab my stencil and my marker. Uh, my 0 0.1. Uh, which eyes am I going to give her? Hmm. Too many options. <laughs> uh, I like these other ones too with the hearts. I think I'm going to do this one with the hearts. So then I just line them up. And then I take my marker. And I could have done uh, stomp sets, but the problem with stomp sets, is, stomp sets is, is they are way more expensive. Let me first color this hard in. And... Um, the MOQs were so high for bringing out stomp sets. And I had something like, well, we could do this with a stencil and just a marker, and it makes it all cheaper. I didn't have that high MOQ. So let me see how she turns out. See, it's so cute. Now you can put your own eyes to the face. I, I like this one where the nose is fixed inside and the mouth. But in that same little set that goes together with the stencil, there are um, blank ones. Where is one of my blank ones? Oh, here. So you can pick your own, choose your own nose, pick your own nose. Yeah. See? <clears throat> uh. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I love the add-ons set, so many possibilities. Yeah, that's true. And that's why I made these add-on sets, because um, I love to give them all kinds of possibilities. Uh, team. Team-wise. T-H-E-M-E. Team-wise. <laughs> oh, okay. What kind of hair color are, am I? Oh, first I need to cut a bud. Of course, sheets of body. Yeah, looking for my papers. Oh, where did I put the right paper? No. Oh, shoot, but what paper did I use for the other parts? I'm not sure. I'm looking through my paper and I can't find the body parts uh, or the, the right paper that I used because then you will get the color difference. Hmm. And I don't like that. Okay. Let me see if I can find the paper that I used. See, this is another kind of paper too. Well, it could function as foundation, but hey. <laughs> I'm going to use a new piece of paper, whatever. We only live once, right? And maybe then it's smart for me to also die cut the other one. So I have them all the same. Yeah. Okay. 
Or do I take the more pinkish color? This has two sides, and for you, this looks very white, but in real real life, it's more like a skin color. And now I'm debating what side I'm I'm going to use. Okay, let me go and use this one. Make up your mind, Nicole. Okay. Those is, are the body parts. And like I said, I am coming out with a separate die set for um, the bases. So uh, I got so many asks for people that said, well, I would love to have an extra base, uh, despite the fact that there are base uh, dice in Sana and Ben's set. So I asked the manufacturer if he could produce uh, a base die set for me. So if you want to have more of these base dies, that you could take them or could buy them, whatever. I think you guys know what I mean with my horrible English. <laughs> okay, so back to the drawing board. Am I going to take the same one? Yes, because why? Because I like it. Or do I do the one with the stars? No. I think the hearts suit. Come on. Put them straight, Nicole. The one with the heart suits more like for a princess, in my opinion. And I like the, the, the easy way of these stencils. Oh, don't shift them, Nicole. I would never, ever be able to do this by hand. So I'm so happy to have this stencil. Because if you see, I already messed it up, but hey, I'm not perfect either. I make mistakes too. Okay, so now I have the base with the head. And now I'm going to determine what kind of hair colors I'm going to do. These are the hands. Oh, yeah. Those I need to die cut as well, because I want her in the end to hold the gift, the gift box with the bow. So these are her hands. This is her collar of her dress. But I always need to take off these pokey things. I had it happen that I, I uh, bought a new desk mat. And then I poked myself and it was covered with blood. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, this is always a part that I don't like as much, that, that taking the dies apart. But I always ask my manufacturer to make them breakable parts because I hate cutting them apart. They're always left those are always those sharpie things are left at the dice when you need to cut them and i don't like that so i always ask him please please do me a favor and make them breakable oh see another po pointy thing Okay, for the hair color. Um, I want to do like a blonde, a blonde girl, but hmm, this one has polka dots on it, so I'm not sure. 
do I have a better yellow? <laughs> I also like the black hair. But what choice am I going to make? Uh, you know what? Let me do a crazy thing and give her polka dot hair. Yeah. I'm just going for it. <laughs> we will see how it turns out. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to laugh. <laughs> This is so cool. Hmm. Well, what do you th guys think of her blonde hair? Please know that her skin color is a little bit darker than you can see on screen, but I think my camera adjusts the light, so make it look lighter skinned than it officially is okay and these are our bangs and then what color am i going to use for her hair piece hmm not sure pink i think pink is a good option okay so because then I can use the same pink for her dress. Um, and what I can do, but this is too close to the skin color. Shoot. Oh, dilemmas. Maybe I should take a darker color. This is more purplish. And it go, could go well with the dress. Should I do? Oh, that I think this will be cool. Okay. Well, let's see. Never thought about doing a, a texture, textured dress. <laughs> Oh, me and my English. Why? Okay. I need hands, so I need to cut this one out too. And what color should I do? That body part? Maybe this one. Let's see how that turns out. But if I do this one, I have to do this one pink too. Okay. Well. I'm always very uh, cheap with my paper. <laughs> oh, these are very expensive sheets of paper. I think they cost me a dollar fifty or dollar seventy five. So that's why I'm being a little bit. <laughs> On the not throw too much away side. Okay. Let me see how this turns out. I just took some papers that I think, well, maybe they fit good together. I'll go well together. I'm not sure. Maybe it's too much what I'm doing. I'm not totally sure. Or would this be a better look? No, I like this better. Okay, and then her hair piece because I need to put her hair together. I'm making a mess. Okay. 
Okay, first let me put her together. Let me see if I can show you how that looks. Come on, Nicole. Uh, I have to put this at the top, this on top of this, and then first her headband. Oh my goodness, I'm getting distracted. So first, a little bit of glue. Um, yeah, I want her hair sticking out a little bit more. So, and that's the fun stuff of these dolls. You can do it however you like. With the skin tones you like, with the faces you like, and it gives you so many options. Okay, then... It's important for me to look at how am I going to do this. Okay. See, that's my nervous. Uh, because I, I know I'm live streaming. And it makes me nervous. I, don't, I just don't know why. Okay. And then her hair. I have to put it a little bit to the outside because else ah this is perfect yes push it down a little bit and then you then it looks like she's wearing a hair ba hair band in her hair see i think it's cute <laughs> And of course you can give her all kinds of eyes and, and stuff like that. So, hi Fatima, hi sweetie. Yeah, I'm struggling life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is, wait, let me turn it off. Oh, I keep on messing up her top piece, but see how cute this looks. It makes me exciting. Okay, and then, excited, sorry, and then this piece, and let me see if I can, oh yeah, her hands, those I already cut out as well, uh, and I want her to hold the gift, so, um, what am I going to? Oh, yeah, her belt. I need to do her belt first. So then I need this one. Oh, get off those pokey things. You don't seem like you're struggling at all. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. <laughs> well, it sure feels like it because. You know, when you're by yourself and you know nobody is watching you, you feel more calm inside because then it gives you more time to figure out what colors and what paper. And I think you get what I mean. Okay, now her, her belt and her belt has a bow, but now I'm debating what color I'm going to do that bow. Uh, let me see if I have a piece of white paper. Hmm. Wouldn't that be too white? I think so. Shoot. Maybe a light pink one. That's a good option. Haha. <laughs> Smart thinking. See, I enjoy... I enjoy crafting a lot, but <laughs> when I have to do it with an audience, and it's it's funny because back in the days I did a lot of demos in, in on craft fairs, and I didn't felt nervous at all. But I don't know what it is when I'm doing a live stream. I get I get antsy. I get huh. Maybe it's because then 
you can see the faces of the people and if they are annoyed walk away uh, during what are you what you're trying to tell them maybe maybe it's that that you can hear and see the people okay i did a purple belt i did a light color so i think i'm going to do a light color bow too okay well it's a lot of figuring out what colors i want to use okay let me die cut this first so i can put that all together in one go Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh. And Ben's sitting in the same room and he's trying to be very calm and quiet. <laughs> you can talk to me, or honey. Oh. <laughs> Don't disturb me, I'm looking at my videos. That's my husband. Okay. Let me put this away so I have a little bit more space. Sorry, I need to turn her around because else I have everything will go wrong. Okay, so let me first put on some glue to stick down her dress. Oh, despite the fact I, I designed them, I every time I'm amazed at how cute it looks. And when I'm designing them, I always think, okay, do I do this in a layer or just an embossing line to make it look like there are um, different layers? And when I, then I... I sometimes think, okay, these are too many parts. Let me do just an embossing line and then I'll always regret it. So I always try to do as much layers as I can because I think it adds to dimension, but also interest. Oh, come on, work with me. Okay, this is her dress belt. And now, the pure step resistance, <laughs> the bow. <laughs> okay, so, okay, this is an inner piece, so that one can go away. See, I could do just um, a bow with two embossed lines and make it look like real, but I think this, when you layer this, it looks way prettier. But hey, that's my opinion. <laughs> okay, now the centerpiece. Yes. Ah, oh, how cute. <laughs> and this is meant to be a little girl's dress. So it's not that I know that grown-ups don't dress like this. <laughs> I got that comment lately, so. <laughs> but look how cute. And that's, so that's Eileen. You need the base set to put her together with her hair and her hairband and um, the collar and oh, the bow. Let me, let me hold it up closer so you can see all the details. But now what I'm going to do now is put these hands. Do I do this correctly? Uh, yes, okay. So now I'm going to put these hands later on and yes, it will cover her bow but I'm going to put together um, the other set. First, let me clean up this mess. 
Uh, where did I? Where did I? Oh, here. The baggie. I always put my dice back into the baggie because else. Oh, I will lose all those pieces. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Amy. I like to make the samples. And I will make another sample with Eileen as well in, in a darker skin color. And with a different dress and different hair. But, um, oh, oh, don't lose the flowers. Come on, Nicole. No, okay. And the hands, the flowers and the hands back into the bag. And then I want to give her the presents inside her hands. Oh, first let me put the cap on my blue. What did, what was here? Oh, I, I had a baggie on my desk and I was like, okay, where did that come from? So, this one back here. Yeah, my OCD always makes me clean up before I start something new. I can't have a lot of mess on my desk. It makes my brain stop thinking. So, I always clean up. Okay, so. Now I'm going to put the present together. But what color presents should I give her? Um, first things first. I'm going to take out... Because this is the top. Okay. Let me first take off all those pokey bits. This is always, I find, the most boring thing to do. But, hey... Luckily, it only has to be done once. And I wouldn't, if I were you, take these out of the die because they make a very pretty detail in the edge of the box. So I would let them stay in, but I made them able, so I made it uh, possible for you to take them out if you don't want them. So if you want a gift box without the hearts, you have that option. This, and maybe you think, where is this part for? I will show you because it's for the gift box. So if you think, hey, Nicole, there is like a funny oval thing inside. Okay, now I have to take these out. And the bow part, ow, that's for the bow, that's a hand, and this other funny thing that's beside, come on, this other funny thing that you see in the die set, that's for the champagne glass, that's the drink. And I wanted to mention that because... Oh, I can imagine that you sit behind your desk and think, Nicole, where does this go? <laughs> I need to buy a new pair of pliers because I ruined mine. How do you call them? Pinch nose pliers, something like that. Um, okay. Yeah, I, th I think you all get uh, know how the balloons go together. I wanted to do the present because I want her to hold that box. Come on, all those tiny itty bitty metal pieces. It looks like it looks like the box could may be made into a cake. Hey, that's that's something I didn't think about, but hey. I sure could give it a try. Um, let me go and give her, you know what? Maybe this is a fun, oh, I, I like this one. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. When I'm going to be enthusiastic about something, I'm always doing like, oh. Uh, that's one. 
So the lid, I will do it in a darker shade. Um, like this. And then I will also show you that funny oval piece. I only have to see if they color match. Yeah. So that's that oval piece. And then I'm debating, I think I'm going to do a dark colored bow. So then I need a few pieces of this paper. Okay, let me put this one away because it's bugging me. Um, okay, let me die cut these so I can show you what a cool gift box this is. Uh, oh, I've been a bit, a little bit too cheapskates with my <laughs> cheap with my paper. Uh, maybe it's better. Oh shoot! I'm throwing away my dice. If you wonder why I was saying shoot. Uh, okay. Almost there. Bear with me. Uh, and the middle part of the bow. Okay. That tiny die. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Sometimes you have all the luck. Okay, this one. This. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Lucky twice. And those little. So. <sighs> okay, let me poke out those paper pieces. That's one. That's two, that's the bow. And that's the lid of the box, that's the top of the box. Oh, and now this itty bitty, fun itty bitty thing. <laughs> there it is. So, you all can go there, because else I will go crazy. So, the box, how does it go together? I first going to glue this part. See, I'm getting shaky. Almost glued the wrong side. Come on. Yep, that's how I like it. Um, okay, and then I need to do a little string of glue at the top and a little string of glue at the bottom. And then... Oh, come on. Let me turn it around so you guys can see it better. <laughs> um, I think it's smart to first put this on top of this. There is my picker upper tool. Can't go without that one. And then a little dab of glue in the middle. Okay. And then I can put the bow on top of the box. I'm going only to put glue on here so I can zhuzh up the bow. See? 
So that's how it looks when you put the gift box together. Oh, Nicole, you're ruining your brand new mat. <laughs> See, that's how it goes together. I think it's so cute. And then when you take your doll and you take these hands, because in the in the uh, birthday add-on set, there is like um, the hands too. So if you did not buy Eileen, but you did want the hands, no worry, they are in the set. And then if you want, you can put those hands on top of the box. Just a little bit of glue. Like she is holding. Oh my. I'm shivering and shaking. So the other one. Let me put the glue on here. Maybe that's a safer thing for me to do. See? Okay, and then when you turn her around, you can add foam to this and then you can put it, oh, I need it to spread them out a little tiny bit more because then it covers her whole oh <laughs> see <laughs> um i ordered them on aliexpress i uh, i have a seller on aliexpress who makes them i could give you the link that's no problem but you would need to have a design um, so I made the design, sent it, off, sent it off to him, and he produced them. And then you will get, let me show you, them in rolls like this. So I ordered two. If I make this one dirty, I have a spare one. But yeah, uh, I always ordered them there. Uh, thank you, Francine. Let me see if I can pick it up. I didn't glue down the present because I, I want to show her dress with the bow. but. Then you have an idea on how the birthday set will look on all the dolls because it fits on all the dolls. But here it looks like, see, now it looks like she is holding that present that I thought that was a cute one. And of course, in that birthday add-on set are balloons with strings and you could do them behind the doll or give the, her some strings inside her hand to hold. That's, that's all a possibility. I also put in some stars so you could dress up stars and hearts. So you could dress up your balloons with stars and hearts. I also uh, put in some bows uh, that go on the birthday strings. So it's a very versatile set, but I wanted to show you how the uh, gift box would look. That's That was important to me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this one together, but then off camera, because those are way too tiny pieces for me to struggle with uh, while you guys are watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, seeing me struggle <laughs> and putting it together and showing you at least a sample of how the dice looked. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, thank you all for your purchases and your orders. I, I absolutely enjoy every time I see one coming in. I feel so blessed. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. I wish you all a nice weekend and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>